Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do some solo setting drills that you can do at home. Now, I realize that I'm very lucky I have a really big wall that I can practice at at home, but I know that not everybody has that. So, I'm going to keep the drills really, really small and make sure that you can do them in a really small space so that you can keep your setting skills sharp even when you're at home. When doing baby sets, you want to get really close to the wall and make sure to have your right foot forward. Rock your weight back and forth, maintaining control. One-handed sets can be tricky, but the important thing is how you use your wrist. You want to feel like you're just flicking your wrist to the wall and Good luck on those transitions. Notice again, you want to keep your right foot slightly forward like you're in a normal setting position. Our last warm up exercise is 360 degree turns. These are challenging. And as you can see, I'm no expert, but you want to start facing the wall and turn in a complete circle while keeping the ball going. A good trick to think about is not to bend backwards too far when your back is facing the wall. Try to stay upright and just push the ball a little bit harder than you are at the start. For regular sets, this is very similar to the baby set warm-up, but you're going to move back just a little bit to have to push a little harder towards the wall. You still want to keep your right foot forward in a good setting position and hands high. Building off of this is setting to yourself and then setting to the wall. It's really important to change the angle of your hands to be able to execute each set independently. Single leg sets are challenging because we have to maintain our balance. To do this, we require a lot of consistency and precision, hitting the same target with our set over and over. Sitting drills build off of the single leg standing drill that we just did, except it takes away the balance component. Because we can't move, we have to try to set the same location every time to keep the drill going. If you're having trouble maintaining control of these drills, Try marking off a target on the wall with tape to give yourself a good visual of where you need to place the ball. Okay, you guys, I hope you found that helpful. There you have a set of solo setting exercises that you can do at home in a really small space. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments. But until then, I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to this channel, and stay tuned for more volleyball-related content. Thanks.